I don't feel very good. <laughs> Now let's cover seizures for the adult and what to do when it happens in the workplace. So when a person goes into a seizure, they could have gone into that for so many different reasons, it's unbelievable. So to focus on why it happened is not the bigger point. The fact is, is recognizing that it did happen. We saw that she went into what we call a tonic state. Hands were gripped, they were pointing towards her, her body, she was seizing actively, and then went into what we call a postictal state, or a relaxed recovery state. While the patient is actually seizing, it's important to do a few things. Make sure that whatever is around them is not going to actually harm them more. So if there's sharp objects that they could bump into while they're seizing, we want to either move the object or move the patient so that they don't get hurt further. If they seem to be having what we call as a tonic-clonic seizure where they're contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing, they might be banging their head on a hard surface like the cement floor. It's important for us to protect their head, which we can do by cupping our hands to just give them a little cushioning so that while they're actively seizing, they're not also causing a head injury. Now once the patient has come out of the seizure, we need to assess a couple things. One has EMS been activated? As soon as we see they're in a seizure and we don't know that they're an, an ongoing epileptic, they don't have any standing rules, we're gonna call 911. But if we are near the patient and we can send somebody to do that, we will be using that time then to assess them for whether or not they're breathing or whether they are moving and beginning to come back to consciousness. If this patient is not breathing and not moving, and doesn't respond to our taps and shouts, we're gonna go right into CPR and call for an AED. If this person starts to breathe, which is fairly normal during the postictal state, we're going to assess them to see, is this agonal respirations or are they breathing more in a corrective measure? If they are beginning to breathe, then we're gonna go ahead and do the recovery position to help keep their airway open and clear while they recover from the seizure and we wait for EMS to arrive. The way that we do this is we elevate the arm closest to us up over their head. We bring the furthest leg away over and we cross their legs, grabbing their wrist and their hip underneath their head and neck. We roll the patient onto their side. We lift their head, untuck the hand, and bend their arm up underneath their head. Notice how they now have a face that's pointing towards the ground, allowing gravity to help clear their airway. We then bring their knee up as a kickstand to help protect them from rolling all the way over. If they seem to be showing signs of shock, like cool, pale, sweaty, rapid pulse, we can cover them with a sheet coat or blanket and allow them to recover. While we're waiting for EMS to arrive, we're gonna be assessing for breathing and for recovery um, signs. Maybe they're talking to us, maybe they're saying, what happened? Maybe they're saying, oh, my head, it really hurts. But any of that stuff is good signs that they're recovering out of the seizure. Make sure you understand that a seizure patient is low on oxygen, they're confused, they had an electrical storm in the brain, and they might be confused, they could even be combative, they might wanna to try to get up, they don't know where they're at, and that can last for a few minutes. So just don't try to hold them down during a seizure, don't stop them from seizing, just help support them and protect them during the seizure, and then help assess them for more serious situations like cardiac arrest while we await EMS to arrive.